Yeah. Charge. All right, where's, we're rolling. Awesome. Yeah, we are. My name is Miles Morales. Brooklyn! I'm the one and only Spider-Man. At least that's what I thought. You ever hear of the Super Collider? You're gonna love this. Dimension opening now. You're like me. That's impossible. That way, that way. You have a group of fantastic characters in uh, Spider-Gwen, Spider-Ham, uh, Spider-Man Noir, Penny Parker, uh, but also just amazing voice actors providing. Mm -hmm. the, uh, I'm just curious kind of about the casting process and like, especially like Nick Cage, who is uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, we, well known as a I can't huge believe he did fan. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he was so amazing. Um, well, with, the, with Shamik, it was a situation where we had seen Dope and loved it, and, and he had auditioned for us for another movie, and we fell in love with him. And he felt like the right mix of both earnest sweetness and swagger mm -hmm. to play Miles. Playing Miles, um, I realized a lot of uh, parallels between my life and his life. My parents are very loving, mm -hmm. and so are his. My mom sent me to all boys military prep school, Miller's Prep, and Miles went to a school he didn't really like. And Miles is a creative soul. I'm a creative soul, you know? Miles got bitten by that spider out of a thousand people and plus in Brooklyn. Same with me. There was a whole bunch of people that auditioned for this role, but they chose me. Brooklyn! With Jake, he was a guy that, we, um, that we've worked with a lot and love, and he's a friend of ours, so, you know, before there was even a script, he was the guy that... He was your principal was in 21 Jump Street. Exactly. Uh, I think I was really drawn to the kind of humanity of this version of Peter mm -hmm. and the kind of realness of where he was at in it. I haven't seen a, a superhero character going through that type of life moment before, and I found that really interesting. My name is Peter Parker. I'm pretty sure you know the rest. And, and with Haley, we just were huge admirers of hers, and she can do anything. She's so multi-talented. She's a superhero, for um, real. I'm from another dimension. I mean, another, another dimension. And then, and, and with all the other ones, it was like, we would uh, hang out with the directors and pitch out ideas, and they'd be like, well, what's the not stock version of this? Mm -hmm. And then someone would throw a name like Nicolas Cage, and we all go, yeah, that's it. Wherever I go, the wind follows, and the wind, it smells like rain. And luckily we all would, we all had very similar taste in this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And when someone sparked to an idea that felt just right, like John Mulaney as Spider-Ham. It can get weirder. They go like, that's the one, that's, that's, okay. that's gotta be it. And then, and then it was just done. And luckily they all said yes, which is crazy. Yeah. We're a little teen. Me as the teacher who could still do it. You as the student who can do it just not as good. I'm curious if you guys just have any favorite Easter eggs that uh, you want. People well, to I love that Brian part. and Sarah are in his like favorites on his phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's really sweet. Yeah. Um, um, there's there, a clone college. That's right. I referenced the clone, clone high. high. Nice. Uh, our, our first TV show. There's so many Easter eggs in this movie. Uh -huh. The Easter um, eggs have Easter eggs. It's really, um, uh, you know, it would require multiple times seeing in the theater. Nice. To really catch no even question. a quarter of them. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's really, yeah, I think that's true. I would say three or four times. Minimum. Yeah, yeah and you're going to need to bring some friends <laughs> yeah, to, to help explain you all the Easter eggs to you. Sure. Yeah, exactly. So buy a few extra tickets. Wait, so how many of us are there? Were there, like, some kill your darling situations where, like, you just <laughs> I mean, they're all darlings. Yeah. 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 Daily, yeah. daily darling. Uh, Especially murder. when you write a 150-page draft. <laughs> 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 That'll do it. Yeah, they're sure. gonna get killed. Yeah, yeah. It was like seven movies in one, and then it got pared down into three movies in one, and then that's what we have now. Yeah. I mean, we've been recording this for the last two and a half years, mm -hmm. so we have recorded every scene in this movie more than. 30, 40 times. Uh -huh. So we did the script. The writers who would be in the room with us would write as we were going. And I remember Chris Miller texted a bunch of stuff to Rodney Rothman one day, and I was doing the lines off the phone from mm -hmm. new text. We were improvising. Yeah. We were talking things out. Another actor would come in. They would rewrite and change. When they would do animation, we would change it. So it was a very fluid process that really just ended two weeks ago. All right, you ready? Of course I'm not ready. Ah! Oh! What was the key to it? I mean, was it just kind of about exploring the other characters and... It's interesting. It's like an interestingly structured movie because, you know, for a really long time, Miles is in the movie on his own and the other lead doesn't show up until like 35 minutes into the picture. Sure. And actually, like, we were fans of long first acts, you know, where you just really get to know the character and what's driving them. One of the movies we looked at was Rocky. The first like hour of Rocky is just it's just Sylvester Stallone walking around yeah. Philadelphia, like talking to people and giving them advice on their lives. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it's great, and that's part uh -huh. of what makes you yeah. love that guy. And by the end, you're just you love him so much. Yeah. So, sure. Uh, but but tr but tying it into like what was going on with Miles and making sure that that story was always moving forward 
was really the trick. Brooklyn is gonna collapse. My family lives in Brooklyn. Whoa, 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 whoa. Miles, what's wrong? We need to get back to our universes soon. Are there particular characters from the Spider-Man world that you just, I mean, because even seeing like characters like Tombstone just mm -hmm. appear. Yeah. Like, yeah. So do you have like specific characters that you've really just loved the chance to see? I mean, I don't know, this is not a promise at all, but sure. there's a bunch of, uh, there's tons of the spider diaspora, mm -hmm. you know, that are out there. You know, they're, you know, I'd be really psyched to see Silk do something. I'd be really psyched to see Spider Punk. I just mm -hmm. think aesthetically, like the thing you could do in a movie with that would be amazing. Also, uh, Italian yeah. Spider Man. Italian Spider Man. Let us not oh. we forget. God bless Italian <laughs> Spider Man. God bless those guys. Uh, what's cool about the movie is that if you're into that sort of stuff, the deep uh, comic book canon, um, it's it's awesome. And but even if you have no uh, understanding of what comic books are, or you've never opened a page of one, these movies still uh, are for you too, you know? Absolutely. How many more spider people are there? Hey, fellas. Hello. This could literally not get any weirder. It can get weirder. How am I supposed to save the whole world? <laughs> you can't think about saving the world. You have to think about saving one person.